Hey guys, it's Steph and I'm back with another video. If you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today, y'all, I'm doing a TikTok viral video. So shout out to my home girl, Kendall, cause she was like, I'm a, I ate some barbecue nachos. And I was like, what, what is that? I had never heard of it before y'all. So I was like, let me go on TikTok cause I already know somebody doing it. So I found a whole bunch of videos, okay? So I was like, I gotta try it cause it looks so delicious, you guys. So are y'all ready? I have a feeling I'm gonna love this. I'm gonna make it first and then we're gonna mukbang it later. So stay tuned if you wanna see me eating and hear my review. All right, y'all ready? Let's get into the video. That's Tasha, that's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We're gonna eat a little, crank a little. Our story time is the best. Have you LOL when you click play? No, this ain't no clickbait. All right, guys, so this recipe is super duper simple. All you need is a few ingredients. I'm gonna be using some tortilla chips, Tostitos. My friend said you can do Doritos too. So I'm gonna do half Doritos, half tortilla chips. I have some smoked chicken from my favorite place, Poppy Taco. You can also make your own meat. I also have some beef. This is actually birria beef. I'm gonna put that on part of it. Um, of course the cheese, whatever cheeses you want. This is just some cheese I had left over from some other videos. So I'm gonna use this medium cheddar and then I got a white sharp cheddar. Then you want to top it with your favorite barbecue sauce. Sour cream if you like that. Red onion. Cilantro. All right, y'all, let's make it. Okay, so you want to spread your chips. I'm going to add my meat. A little more beef, on. Now you're going to add your cheese on top. And then before you add anything else, we're going to put this in the oven for 10 minutes. Time to add the rest of the toppings. I'm going to go with the onions first. Sour cream. Barbecue sauce. Cilantro. I have my avocado right there. <laughs> it's time to eat. Let me roll my sleeves up, y'all. I'm really mad I have my hair down today because I really want to get in this without having any hair involved. Hopefully that happens. Here we are. <laughs> Barbecue nachos, y'all. I'm not gonna lie, it smells delicious. I think I might not have enough sour cream. Maybe not enough barbecue sauce. I don't know, but they are on the side if I need some more. Let's try it out. I'm gonna go with the... Let me see if I can get a good tortilla. I don't know what that, you know what? This is, this is Dorito, so we're gonna go with that. And I think this is the beef, y'all. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Bomb. Oh my God. Okay. I'm gonna pick up another Dorito. I need some sauce. Mm. Mm. That was the Dorito with the chicken. Mm. <laughs> okay. I feel like I haven't gotten a good one with everything yet. Mm. Mm. <coughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Mm. I'm trying to taste every one before I give y'all my review. That was tortilla chip and chicken. I don't even know what I'm buying the tortilla. The beef, maybe this one. Mm-hmm, got it. Let's try to put, this is gonna be messy y'all because I don't have time. I'm not about trying to be cute for y'all, okay? This is some real Mm. Oh my God. It's giving bomb. <laughs> it's giving bomb, y'all. Oh my God. This is so good. I'm trying to figure out what I like, which one I like more. What I do know is I need some more sour cream. Okay. That little cute sprinkle wasn't it. We need to do the real. Okay. I think I want some more barbecue sauce too, but I'm going to take it hopefully a little easy with this. I can't. Why have I never heard of this? Why have I never heard of this, y'all? 
Barbecue nachos. What? This don't even make no sense. Oh my goodness, look. Look, y'all. Y'all can't see my food good. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Praise God for friends, y'all. I don't know how long it would have took me to find these if my friend didn't tell me about them. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I am so sorry, Tasha. We were supposed to do a video today. And this is what I was going to make. But we ended up not doing one. But I still made it. So I did a solo. Mm. I almost don't have no words, y'all. For real. It kind of reminds me of barbecue chicken pizza. Really good. Mm -hmm. This this sucker right here just loaded. <laughs> I don't even feel like I should eat all that, y'all. But I am. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. To be honest, I like the plain tortilla chip better. Oh, I didn't try my avocado. I like my, the plain tortilla chip better than the um, Dorito. Mm. I'm going to be discussing, well, I'm going to look at a reaction video regarding Christian Keys, who has come out about some, we don't want to say the word, but harassment that he received from someone big in the entertainment industry. I don't think he gave a name of who it was, but people are assuming it's. Drop it in the comments below the person you assuming it is. Y'all, I'm so sorry, but this is good. This is really, really good. Mm. Mm. Oh, my hair is in the way, baby. Y'all wonder why I wear the ponies every day. Don't nobody have time for this hair and eating. Y'all know I did the skillet nachos from TikTok recently. I'm trying to engage which one I think is better. Might be this one. <laughs> Might be this one. I wonder how it would have tasted with the melted cheese. So I see some people doing it that way. Now I'm curious. I wish I would have did part of it with that, but I'm trying to avoid them Doritos. Um, it don't taste bad. I just like it better without it. To me, it adds too much different flavor. So I'm gonna watch the video because I haven't seen. It. I saw a very little bit of it. The reaction video is only 16 minutes. His actual live is an hour. I haven't seen any of it yet. So, if I miss something, I'm sorry. Because I know y'all going to be mad. You also probably might be mad because I have a different opinion than you. That's fine. You know, it's fine. It's okay. It's okay we have different opinions. Matter of fact, if you want to talk about your opinion with me, Hit me up in my DMs at Steph Loves Love. And not if you were an aggressive, weird person that want to argue. I'm talking about if you just want to talk about stuff. I don't mind debating. Let me hear your perspective. I'm going to respect yours so you can respect mine. If you can't do that, don't please don't hit me up in my DMs. Okay? Because you're going to be left on what? Red. But yeah. Anytime y'all want to talk to me about how you guys feel about something I might have said, feel free to hit me up because I do not mind hearing other perspectives. There's actually been times when we talk about stuff on here and then I look in the comments and I'm like, whoa, that's a great point. That is a great point. Respectfully said, and I can accept that, you know? Y'all, y'all be teaching me some stuff. I'm giving y'all what I think right now. That shit might change tomorrow. It might change next year. Okay, so relax. It's okay if people have different perspectives than you, okay? Okay. Oh, y'all, it's so good. A little avocado. Shout out to Ellie Soul, my virtual BFF. Hopefully we can collab one day. This is the hot sauce it came with. I got two chips. <laughs> I'm gonna choke, y'all. Y'all know I cannot eat this much food at once. Oh, God. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
That wasn't bad. Mm, that was not bad. I don't even know if this is, y'all. It really just gave it a, a nice kick of spice. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at that at all. All right. Ooh, I'm hot. I'm hot. Okay, we're going to listen to some of this reaction. And this is, I don't know how to do reaction videos well, y'all. I'm not going to put it on the screen because it's going to take me too much to try to link up the lips of me watching it and then the video that I put in here. If you edit, you know what I mean. Ain't nobody got time for it. Okay, so just listen. And some of y'all probably already heard it anyway. Okay, so this is from Kimpire. He reacted to Christian Keys' live video that he did on Instagram. Actor Christian Keys is speaking out about a powerful man in Hollywood that tried to sexually harass him and attempt to S.A. him, offering him $100,000 to get undressed. I had to pause for me. I didn't know what S.A. was, but I put it together. Okay, got you. Welcome back to the Kempire Channel. Call Christian Keys' name, or maybe you do. He took to his social media last night, talked about the abuse that he had experienced. However, he won't name the person. Real quick, I got something to say about this. I feel it's really dangerous to come out with a story or allegations about somebody and not say who you're talking about. Because people be reaching, running, <coughs> and rambling, okay, online. And they will create a whole scenario and a whole new story behind what you said. And it ain't even the person that you was talking about. Okay, so it's that I feel like that's very dangerous. Okay, I'm just gonna say that. I mean, I understand wanting to like maybe help protect other people, so you're telling your story, but hopefully his thing wasn't like so on like who the person was and just like let me tell this story so people can be aware and try to remain safe. I don't know. Things to the police, and he says for a very long time since 2005. He's been carrying around this recording device that's in a pen because he says a lot of abusers will collect your phone, make sure your phone is off because they don't realize there are other ways to record them. I've been speaking to my brother about mm. making a declaration of my experience. Mm. Um, what I experienced with certain powers that be that were moving inappropriately. Thankfully, God built me the way that he built me, but I'm not sure, you know, based on this person's claims and, and brags um, that he's literally got, at the same time this person was sexually harassing me for years. My mic ain't even plugged in. All right, y'all gonna be up here and probably too good. He was claiming, you know, that he had multiple young black men on the payroll and they just had to show up when he was, when he requested them to be there. And... This is what I understand. And I'm not, this is not anything against Christian at all. It's, it's the person, whoever he's talking about. So you got multiple people on the payroll that want to get money to do whatever you're trying to do. But why, so why are you messing with him? What, what do you what do you you got to get a new person on the payroll? You got you got some kind of power thing going on. That's weird to me. Like if you got a if you got a few people that you can call to do what you want them to do, whatever. Why do you need to go try to get somebody else that don't even want you? They ain't they ain't trying to be bothered. They don't want to be essayed. Like, ugh. but that that money and that power be getting to people. And they like I can get whoever I want, and we gonna test it out right now. How much does it take to buy this person? That's what I'm feeling like. This giving that y'all. Anyway. Clearly, that's why it was. It felt to him that it was okay to say these things. Right. And I've done my best to forgive this person, but it happens. It happens. Um, it's not just women that have to deal with it, but it's also men sometimes. And it'll be men tempting. I don't forgive easy. I don't know how y'all be doing it. I feel like at a certain point. <clears throat> I just let it go. <laughs> but if you fuck me over, honey, I, I really don't think, I'm just got to be honest, I don't be forgiving like that. And I, I understand the whole, you need to forgive for yourself. 
I still can't do it though. I, you, I can say that all day. But if my heart really ain't doing it, then that is just a lie if I act like I'm forgiving somebody, right? If y'all got any tips to help people forgive, hit me up in my DMs. Steph loves love. Because I need some I need some help. I don't be forgiving people. Not at all. Man. And that's why a lot of my posts over the last few years have been about taking the scenic route, you know, taking the long way around because if that means that you can carry your integrity with you, then but there are people that will offer these things and some of them are your heroes. People who y'all like, oh yeah, such and such is amazing and he does this and he does that. Yeah, but he also does this. That's true. But that's because everybody is human and people put celebrities on a pedestal and make them feel like they are superhuman. They don't do the they don't do regular shit that humans be out here doing. Yes, they do. And if you're if you are thinking about somebody in that way, it's just because you don't know every part of them. I don't think it's wrong to think about somebody as like uh to be inspired by people or to look up to people. And then when you find out what they be doing, things gotta change. But a lot of times people af even after um it's found up they're doing certain things because you've already looked up to them so much and like you're idolizing them so much, y'all let things go. I think that's wrong. I've kept one of these on me since 05. Um, whether it's a keychain recorder or a pen, because oh, so I, that's a long time. Check your phone. So he got some receipts. This is what he's saying. <laughs> harassment started. I was like, well, I need to. I, I got to protect me because I'm saying no, and I don't want this person, as powerful as they are, to. Y'all, yeah. it's gonna be a long video. Work. So. Wait, wait. I didn't even hear I you. So I have them all okay. me money. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. So he done had this, this pen for almost 20 years? Wait, where we at? Fit, he had it since 05, so 15, and it's almost 2025. 20, 18 years of recording? He you know how many receipts he got on that pen, y'all? I have recordings when I wasn't working with them or for them. As powerful as they are, too. Ooh. ooh. Try to get in the way of my work. Oh, got so, you. Oh, okay. Now, see, I was out. I, I was already in my mind. Like, why is he holding on to the? Well, I mean, why is he going into like meetings or or even working with this person and ho taking pens and trying to record shit? I in my mind, I was thinking, oh, he trying to set him up. You know, I'm 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 running scenarios that didn't look good for Christian. I ain't gonna lie. But what he just said was he said he wants to make sure this nigga, because you got so much clout in the the industry, I want to make sure you're not about to mess my shit up. So well, if you did try to blackball me, nigga, I got the receipts, okay? <laughs> I mean, you, okay, yeah, yeah. Y'all better be careful. People recording everything these days, okay? Trust me, I know. So be careful what you doing in public, okay? Because <laughs> people cannot wait to record it. So I have them offering me money to take my clothes off. Recordings of them confessing that, you know, the other guys that they have on the payroll, all of the above. Um, and the difference is, the wonderful thing about confidentiality agreements and non-disclosure agreements is that they can't prevent you from turning all of those things over to the police because sexual harassment is a crime. Attempted sexual assault is a felony. That sounds like a threat to me, y'all. Uh, I think he's going to the popo. Um, so whoever it is, I'm sure we're going to know about it soon. I'm sure we going to know. I don't know. Mm. Shouldn't have did it. That's how I think about it. I feel like you shouldn't have done it. There's one thing to me to out somebody that you have had relations with consensually. To out that person, to me, that's very wrong. But if you out here harassing people, and I got you on tape. 
You hurting people. You you are harassing people that don't even want you and said no. But you you got the money, so you feel like let me let me try to buy him. How much does it take? Cause the power. Let me let me see how much it takes for me to see that long meat. Mm -mm. And then I'm sure he would have took it up a notch if he would have got naked. He would have took it up. Okay, so what does it take now to let me? You gotta be careful. Karma will find you no matter what. I promise you. No matter how many things you think you have in place to hide what you're doing, karma sees your ass <laughs> and is following. Karma will follow your ass into your next lifetime. My battery's about to die. Hold on, guys. That this person not only actually harassed them, but offering them cars and at one point, $100,000 to get undressed. Y'all know I'm silly, but <clears throat> what kind of car was it? You know, there was directors along the way like, hey, you know, you read for this, that, and the other. You want to come back up to the apartment? I'm like, nah, I'm good. You got my headshot, my resume, and I'm good. You know if I can handle that or not. You know I can kill that, but I'm not, I don't need to come up to your apartment. We already had the audition. You trying to say that long me? I want to say everything, and my brother was like, nah, not yet. You already came. Say it. We want it. We want it. I want to tell it on the mountain. Wow. 18 years of shit. The good news is that they don't even have to believe me. Hopefully they would, but even if they don't, they can hear this person. Since harassment started, I've carried many recorder devices on me. Keychains, pens, um, thumb drives with a, a charge battery. Better be careful. Six, seven, eight hours already above. So I have the conversations. I really want to air that that because it bothers me when I'm alone at night. Like man, the the world is celebrating this person and they don't even know who he really is. The shady and predatory way in which this person moves. <laughs> wow. And the way that you know predators resent the prey that gets away. So. When you don't say yes, when you don't say, okay, I'll acquiesce and, you know, sign up and literally and figuratively play ball, because we're not doing that, they resent you. In the middle of the night, I think about if I'm brave enough to name the person, I'll take a polygraph live. Yeah, you got his voice, so I'm sure polygraphs live this person is a predator and he's one of several oh not he um, and it's a shame oh not not he said one of several what else you got on tape from 18 years <laughs> he said one of several y'all and he got 18 years of receipts so who else is gonna come out i mean i don't even know who he's talking about but i'm just saying how many people is he about to expose <laughs> This is the thing, like I said before, being gay is not a problem. Flirting with somebody, finding out, hey, I'm not gay, and leaving it alone, that ain't a problem. Going to be with somebody that is gay, and you don't want to be out of the closet is not a problem. But harassing over and over a person who don't want you, and trying to use your power and money to get that person to do stuff anyway, that's a problem. But it's, I think it's time. And I have proof. It's not like I'm just making false accusations. I intentionally let the statute of limitations expire. It's not about money. I'm going to take the receipts, the recordings down to the police department and... Ooh, somebody sitting in their pants right now. This individual. I wasn't working for him. month and the year that he showed up to my apartment and offered me a hundred grand to take my clothes off. Why? He said, I don't even need to touch you. I just want to see you naked. What? I declined. Y'all know I gotta I gotta put some humor in it. But a hundred thousand to see me naked 
and I know I have to touch you, just put a hand up if you would do it. I, that's all I want to know. Just put a hand up if you would do it. That's it. He has a lot of integrity. A lot of integrity. Mm -hmm. I recorded it because I didn't trust him. And I had told him over and over. And he still always tried shit. Thirsty ass nigga. So if people don't believe me, they can hear him in his voice. Ooh. I have always kept something on me. Always. Even always. My phone is off. I something else is if I'm around somebody that has tried to pressure me, intimidate me into some nonsense, I've always kept something on me so I can protect myself because if they're that powerful and they feel that entitled, then they can, they can also try to get in the way of your work. He says that he has That's this person's true. voice on recording and it's if we were to hear this voice, we would immediately know who this person is. Now, like I said, the um, original live was our, y'all. So I'm sure there's a lot missing from this. I want to say real quick, whoever this person is does not represent gay men. I think a lot of people start to get mad at gay people when bad people do stuff. You know what I mean? You can't lump people in um, groups just because he is do trying to do stuff with men. Doesn't mean gay guys do this kind of shit. No, he's just a bad person. He's a person that would have been doing this if he was straight or gay. He he likes power. He wants to make people, manipulate people to do things that he wants to do. Wants them to do. And he also is some kind of sexual pervert, obviously. Okay? So, please don't put this on, this is what gay, gay men do. Um, this is just a person that is not a good person doing stuff he wants to do. And I hope you get caught. I ain't gonna lie. I hope you get caught because you're 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 hurting other people. You got 18 years of receipts on your ass, and karma has come to find you. Mm mm mm. Oh well. I don't feel sorry for whoever it is. To be honest, I don't. What y'all think? Let me know in the comments. I love doing re reaction videos, y'all. I'm just horrible at like editing them. I don't know how to record and edit them at all. But I like reacting to stuff. So if y'all want to see me react to some other stuff, send it to me in on my DMs at Steph Loves Love. Follow me on TikTok, y'all. I'll be going live again this week. Steph Loves Love there as well. If y'all enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Please put the comments down below. If you mad at me, I'm so sorry. But I love you. Until next time, only your vibes. Peace.